Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Now, just under a year ago, I'd done a video on how to beat the smile monster. And I think that was a pretty cool video because it's just kind of theories on what you think you can do to defeat a specific person or monster, etc. And I decided, you know what? That was a good video. I love doing it and I want to do another one. So today I'm going to be doing how to beat Michael Myers. Now, how to beat Michael Myers can be different because it's not just one movie, it's numerous movies but different versions of Michael Myers. So that's something I needed to take into consideration before even doing this video. Throughout the entire franchise, I see that there's three different versions of Michael Myers. You might see it differently, but I see it like this. I see there's this more grounded aspect of Michael Myers that you see in the John Carpenter movies. Uh, the David Gordon Green trilogy, Halloween H2 and Halloween Resurrection. That's the more realistic, grounded Michael Myers that you can get. Then you've got the Rob Zombie Michael Myers that's a little bit bigger, a little bit bulkier and stronger, and he only features in two movies. And then you've got the other ones in between that become stronger as the movies come around. You've got Halloween 4, Halloween 5, and Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers. That's the more Jason Voorhees style Michael Myers that at the end of the day, still follow similar rules to the rest of them, but they're a little bit stronger because they're a little bit stronger because they're a little bit more supernatural. Now if there's one thing that you don't need to beat Michael Myers, and that is stamina. You don't need to be fast, you don't need to be fit and healthy to, to get away from Michael Myers. All you have to do is walk away from Michael Myers. Now the best way to do that is don't walk away into a different room or a different place. Make sure you can see Michael at all times because Michael will be in the distance and you'll see him walking towards you. Don't trip up, don't fall over, don't get caught in a trap. Make sure there's an exit everywhere you go and you can just walk away from Michael Myers. It's as simple as that. That's obviously not gonna beat Michael, but at least you know you're gonna get away from him. As you know from most of the movies, Knives and bullets will slow Michael Myers down, but they won't ultimately kill Michael Myers unless it's a Rob Zombie Michael Myers eventually. But as you can see in most of the films, knives and bullets really only slow him down. Unfortunately, fire also doesn't do much against Michael Myers anymore because we saw that in Halloween 2, which obviously died at the end of Halloween 2, but he came back to life or he, or he just didn't die. Halloween 2018, he didn't die and Halloween Resurrection, even though that was the end of that timeline, he obviously didn't die from what we saw at the end of the movie. So you can try and use fire, but again, fire would probably only slow Michael Myers down. There's only one definitive way that you can actually kill Michael Myers and we've saw that at the end of Halloween H2O, assuming that it was Michael Myers and at the end of Halloween Ends and that is bodily dismemberment. You have to either cut his head off or completely obliterate his whole body in order for him not to come back because if you cut his arm off, if you cut his leg off, if you stab him, shoot him, burn him, that's not going to kill Michael Myers. Whether he's supernatural or not, whether he's human or not, that's just not going to kill Michael. So the only way to kill Michael Myers is bodily dismemberment. <laughs> Now that's easier said than done. You can just say that you have to do that, but you have to lure him into a trap. You have to get him in a position where you can do that to him. So the only way you can really do that to Michael Myers is if he's after you, if he's got something that you have or something that he wants and you have to be really related to Michael Myers for most of the franchise. Uh, if you're Michael Myers' niece or sister or you know someone that knows someone, then he'll come after you. And if he's coming after you, you have to put him into a trap somewhere where he can't get out. You can't just trap him in a corner because he'll probably kill you. You have to get him into a trap, like get him stuck between a tree, for example. You have to do something that he can't move so you're in a position of power so that you can do what you need to do to kill Michael Myers. Like I said, most of the Michaels are similar, but some of them are a little bit stronger than others, like in Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers or Rob Zombie's Halloween but the same rules would probably apply. You'd probably just have to be a little bit more patient because th some of those Michaels are a little bit faster and some of those Michaels are a little bit stronger as well. So you have to trap them in a, a specific way depending on which Michael that it is you're getting chased by. There is of course one exception Michael Myers from Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, the producer's cut, you don't have to really do anything. All you have to do is have a few rocks in, in your pocket and place them around Michael Myers' feet 
and you're all okay. So what are your thoughts on that guys? Is there an easier way to kill Michael Myers or to beat Michael Myers? Do you think my way is the wrong way? Leave your comments down below. Like I say, there's not really a wrong answer. This is just really cool hypothetical theories behind ways you can beat Michael Myers. So there's no wrong answer. There's no stupid answer either because look at Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers producer's cut with the rocks around his feet. You can't get any more ridiculous than that. So leave your, your theories down below, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. To get you, Barbara. Ever played in the past. Ah! Ah! Someone's in the back! Stay!